Dive into the labyrinth of secrets where truth intertwines with myths. Today, we peel back the shroud of time and cast our gaze towards the enigmatic era of Nazi Germany. An era shrouded in mystery and controversy. An era that, despite its dark chapters, continues to fascinate and confound us. Nazi Germany, the Third Reich, has left an indelible mark on the annals of history. Its influence, its secrets, and the myriad unanswered questions it poses have captured the imagination of historians, scholars, and curious minds alike. Each revelation, each uncovered secret, only deepens the intrigue, adding fuel to the already raging fire of curiosity. In this labyrinth of secrets, we find stories of ingenious inventions, hidden treasures, and alleged escapes, each one a piece of the vast and complicated puzzle that is Nazi Germany each one a thread in the intricate tapestry of history. So, fasten your seatbelts and adjust your thinking caps, prepare to unravel the enigma of Nazi Germany. Imagine a device so complex its mysteries took years to unlock. Welcome to the world of the Enigma Machine, an intricate piece of engineering that baffled the brightest minds of the 20th century. The Enigma Machine was not just any device, it was a marvel of technology, a cipher machine used by Nazi Germany during World War II. Its name, Enigma, derived from the Greek word for riddle, was fitting for a device that was designed to create unbreakable codes. Let's delve into the purpose of this machine. The Enigma was used to encode and decode secret messages. It was a staple in communication among the German military and their allies. By turning plaintext messages into a series of seemingly random characters, the Enigma machine ensured that even if enemy forces intercepted the messages, they would be unable to understand them. The machine's complexity was its strength. The Enigma used a series of rotors, plug boards, and a keyboard to scramble messages. Each day, the settings would change, making the codes even harder to crack. There were a staggering 158 quintillion possible settings, making the task of decoding without the correct settings an almost impossible one. But what's a good story without a twist? The code breakers at Bletchley Park in England, led by mathematician Alan Turing, were up to the challenge. Employing a mixture of mathematical analysis, intuition, and the creation of the world's first programmable computer, the bomb, they managed to unravel the Enigma's secrets. This monumental achievement not only changed the course of the war, but also laid the groundwork for modern computer science. The Enigma machine was a testament to the human capacity for innovation and ingenuity. It was a masterpiece of design that held the world in suspense for years, however it was also a weapon of war a tool that facilitated the atrocities of World War II and caused untold suffering. The Enigma Machine, a testament to human ingenuity, yet a weapon of war. It's a reminder of the dual nature of technology, its capacity to both enlighten and destroy, a lesson as relevant today as it was over 80 years ago. Gold, the universal symbol of wealth, but for Nazi Germany, it was a tool for their dark ambitions. In the depths of World War II, as Nazi forces spread their shadow across Europe, there was a parallel operation taking place. An operation less about territorial gain and more about financial dominance. Yes, we're talking about the looting of gold. Nazi Germany, in their relentless pursuit of power, plundered the gold reserves of the countries they invaded. From Austria to Czechoslovakia, from Poland to France, no nation's wealth was safe. But what was the purpose of this mass theft? Well, it served a dual purpose. On one hand it was a means to finance their war machine. War as we know is an expensive business and the Nazis needed a constant flow of funds to keep their campaign alive. On the other, it was a strategy to destabilize the economies of the conquered nations, making them more susceptible to Nazi control. This stolen gold was melted down, reformed into bars stamped with the Nazi insignia, and then stashed away in secret locations across Germany and Austria. But here's where the story takes a mysterious turn. When the war ended, a significant portion of this looted gold was never recovered. Where did it go? Some believe it was smuggled out of Germany in the dying days of the war, hidden away in secret caches in South America or even sunk to the bottom of Austrian lakes. Others speculate it was used to fund a secret network known as Odessa, designed to help high-ranking Nazis escape justice. Yet despite numerous searches, investigations and even a dedicated US operation named Safe Haven, aimed at preventing the Nazis from moving their wealth overseas, the mystery of the missing Nazi gold remains unsolved. The Nazi gold, a symbol of avarice and power, its secrets still lost to time. The world knew Hitler met his end in a bunker, but whispers of an escape persist. As the walls of the Third Reich crumbled, 
the Führer was said to have taken his life in a fortified bunker in Berlin. However, some believe that this was a clever ruse, a smokescreen to facilitate Hitler's escape to the far reaches of South America. This theory, while controversial, has proven persistent and continues to tantalize historians and conspiracy theorists alike. So why does this notion of Hitler's escape persist? The answer lies in the ambiguity of the evidence surrounding his demise. The lack of a definitive, publicly viewable body and contradictory testimonies from those present in the bunker have fueled these theories. A handful of declassified FBI documents further muddy the waters. The files contain eyewitness accounts of sightings of the Nazi leader in Argentina and Colombia in the years following the war. While these reports were never confirmed, they added fuel to the fire of speculation. The narrative of Hitler's escape was also bolstered by the fact that several high-ranking Nazis did indeed flee to South America in the aftermath of the war. These confirmed escapes lend a degree of plausibility to the theory, making it all the more enticing. But it's not just about the evidence, or lack thereof. The theory of Hitler's escape serves a psychological purpose. The idea of an evil mastermind evading justice and living out his days in hiding is compelling. It's a narrative that's been echoed in countless books, films, and television series. It's a story that captures our collective imagination, and perhaps it's a story we need. However, the majority of historians and scholars agree that Hitler did not survive the fall of Berlin. The escape theories, while fascinating, are largely dismissed as unfounded speculation. Yet the whispers persist. The tantalizing possibility of what might have been, the shadowy secrets, the unanswered questions, they continue to fuel the intrigue. Hitler's escape, a tantalizing mystery that continues to provoke debates. Weapons of unimaginable power, or were they just figments of desperate imaginations? Let's delve into the mysterious world of the Wunderwaffe, or miracle weapons, that were supposedly under development during the reign of Nazi Germany. The term Wunderwaffe is used to describe a series of super weapons that were said to be in the works during the Second World War. They were believed to be the last-ditch effort of a regime on the brink of collapse, desperate to turn the tide of the war in their favor. From the V-2 rocket, the first long-range guided ballistic missile to the Messerschmitt Me-262, the first operational jet-powered fighter aircraft, the Wunderwaffe represented the cutting edge of technology and innovation. These were not just weapons of war but symbols of hope for a nation facing defeat. They were the embodiment of the belief in German technological superiority, a belief that, if realized, could potentially change the course of history. But was there any truth to these claims, or were they just part of the vast propaganda machinery of the Third Reich? The reality, as is often the case, lies somewhere in between. While some of these weapons did exist and were operational to varying degrees, many others remained purely theoretical, trapped in blueprints and ambitious plans that never saw the light of day. What about the more outlandish claims, the death rays and flying saucers? Well, despite numerous rumors and alleged sightings, there's no credible evidence to back up these wild fantasies. It seems they were just that, fantasies born out of desperation and fear. Yet it's important to remember that even the mere idea of these weapons had a profound impact. They fueled fear and uncertainty among the Allies and even today, they continue to capture our imagination, serving as a reminder of what could have been if the war had taken a different turn. The Wunderwaffe, a chilling reminder of the lengths desperation can drive humanity. It's a testament to the power of ideas, both in shaping reality and in distorting it, and a stark reminder of the destructive potential that lies within humanity's reach when pushed to the brink. From enigmatic machines to gold mysteries, from alleged escapes to miracle weapons, Nazi Germany is a Pandora's box of secrets. We've journeyed through the cobwebbed corridors of history, unveiling piece by piece the enigma that was Nazi Germany. The Enigma Machine, a device that once baffled the world's brightest minds, was a testament to the technological prowess of the time. We delved into the tales of the elusive Nazi gold, a treasure trove that continues to spark intrigue and speculation. We explored the contentious theory of Hitler's escape, a narrative that challenges the generally accepted historical account. And we've probed the Wunderwaffe, the miracle weapons that were perceived as Hitler's final trump card in a losing war. Each of these stories, each of these secrets, paints a vivid picture of a time in history that was as complex as it was devastating. Nazi Germany, a period of history shrouded in secrets, some revealed, many still buried in the sands of time.